Greetings and welcome to episode 16 of my Napoleon Total War The Oriental Great Britain campaign and this my friends I left the last time where we finally struck out against Damascus my friends all before us has been taken all before us not a single Ottoman force has been able to resist the irrepressible elite armies of the British Empire my friends not a chance we have absolutely smashed through Blitzkrieg through everything they've thrown at us, we finally reached Damascus, my friends. This is the city I've been after for such a long time. It really has been such an important hub here for the Ottoman Empire. But we still have many, 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 my friends, territories and cities still to take here. But Damascus has always been a goal. Just because they have defended, they've kept the full stack army in Damascus the full time we've been campaigning here. So this is obviously a very, very important city for them. So what we are going to do, my friends, is we're going to we keep the siege going here. We'll keep the siege Settlement going for a while. We'll have a quick recap of where we started, what we've done so far. I think it's time for a bit of a recap on this um, on this sort of campaign thus far. All the way back here, my friends. Look at this. We started off with Khartoum. And we started off with these two sort of cities, two regions here, my friends. And look what we've done. We've burst out of here. I think we had Garbia as well, but it's been such a long time since I remember. I think we've had Demetia here as well, or Demetia. Um, and we've looked at that, we've absolutely took it, taken everything in our past. <clears throat> not everything has been easy. This campaign has not been easy, not at all. The Ottomans have thrown everything at us. They really have, my friends. And so was their erstwhile enemy. They both threw everything they could at us. They absolutely gave us not a single breath. We managed, my friends, with a mixture of deploying the forces where they were needed and also taking forces out of certain cities, you know, moving them around, juggling our forces around to try and put them where they were most needed. We obviously, my friends, have finally we could see that sort of light at the end of the tunnel when we finally took Cairo. We really cracked open the absolute heart here of our enemies here when we took Cairo. This then became the absolute jewel in the British Empire here and in, in sort of Egypt and North Africa. And that's when we took it. We managed to capture this sort of huge trade port, the major sort of trading sort of city where everything flowed in and out of here on the Nile. As you can see, then we took um, Ben Swaif here. We took Fayum Oasis, but only after a long time, my friends. It took us a long time to be able to get our forces down from here, down in Khartoum, to be able to take them and then move them across here with a defeat a small army that was here on the bridge, defending the bridge. Then we moved on to take Fayum Oasis. Of course, we had our Bedouin allies here, but they couldn't really help us very much, which is understandable because they are quite a way ways from here. But not, not only that, my friends, they didn't really have that sort of firepower, but they were being fantastic allies. I will not put them down at all, my friends. They would be fantastic allies. Then we took Zagazig here. Zagazig really was a real stepping stone for taking the Suez here. Now, the Suez, I would say, my friends, the Suez was the absolute key location, the key battles were, were taken around the Suez here. Cairo, yes, but the Suez really was sort of, I don't know, I'd, I'd say the, 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 the straw that broke the camel's back in terms of breaking the Ottomans. Because the Suez was the, the city that these Ottomans threw four full stack armies at, and we held there, my friends, and indeed we broke every single one of those armies. Thousands of men died here to try to take Suez of the Ottomans, and that was really, I think, the turning point here. They sent men here from South Sinai up here. We also had them moving down through sort of um, Gaza into North Sinai, down here through the crossroads. Uh, they came straight across here. They don't take any attrition at all, so they came in here. But luckily, we managed to put our pull back. Our two lead armies were here. We saw that movement coming across. We moved down, my friends, to intercept. We also had a garrison here, fortunately. As you can see, around here you've got attrition, so you've got to tread down this way very, very carefully. We held north the Suez after a series of ferocious battles. They really were pushing the Ottomans back, finally recapturing North Sinai once we'd lost it due to a rebellion because we had to pull those armies out to counter those, um, those Ottoman forces moving down. Then finally, finally we took Gaza, getting our foot in the door there, taking over Gaza, capturing a region that allowed us to springboard very quickly into Palestine and the absolute jewel in this area in the Middle East, Jerusalem and Judea. We managed to capture these th sort of three, the triumvirate here 
of uh, cities which really did give us that boost, our confidence boost. We quickly took Acre in Galilee here, then we took Tyre here in El Janub, and finally, my friends, we find ourselves here in Damascus, besieging one of the absolute apogee cities here, the regions within the Ottoman Empire. They still got these two sort of huge cities here. Triple look at that, 2002. But Beirut is a is a huge, huge uh, jewel here, still in the Ottoman Empire. But we've managed to bring Damascus to siege, my friends. Let's end this. Deal. We've got 50,000 in gold. That's how much we've built up here. And again, not by not by sort of you know trade or anything like that, but by juggling our forces, using our forces where they're going to be most effective, and trying to be as efficient as we possibly can. We're going to keep besieging here, we can drag these down here to us, wanting to attack us, my friends, we've got this army here moving in to reinforce and come together, ooh, looks like they're building up a, a possibly an army to lift the siege of Damascus here, ooh, indeed they've come out to us, this could be a pivotal battle here, my friends, Lord Kitchener, the man who really has spearheaded our assault into the empire of the Ottomans here, who really have skewered all the armies that have been thrown at him, and they have absolutely twisted that sword, my friends, into the underbelly here of the Ottoman Empire. Let's take this battle. We've got to be wary here. Three cannon, very, very difficult to take, but we do luckily have these 5th Dragoon Guards here, but they've got a lot of Delhi horsemen, but I'm not sure they've taken any attrition at all. Maybe slight attrition, but nothing much, but they've got these heavy cav. The Silatar Guard Heavy Cavalry. Look at that charge bonus, 39. And they are the Sultan's personal guard, so these are not going to be too easily broken. But my friends, let's begin this fight here. The Battle of Damascus, 1891. Isa Darnat against Herbert Kitchener. Lord Kitchener, my friends, such is his valour, his courage and leadership. He's been made a lord. None shall stop us now, my friends. We're on the brink of greatness here. We really are. Damascus is an absolute jewel in this Ottoman Empire, and I intend to take that jewel for the British Empire, and we shall not relinquish it at all. It shall be held firm. Never shall we give in. We are paying back the Ottomans in spades here for what they've done to us. So look, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. look at that fort there, butchered by the siege. But they're coming out to us, so we're going to hopefully be able to. Oh, 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 look at this. What a defensive location. Absolutely beautiful. Should possibly be out of the way of the guns as well. But on the hill here, couldn't ask for anywhere better, my friends. You really couldn't. The demarcation line. The demarcation line is here. So Kitchener is actually going to be put yes, up here. <coughs> now we're going to put our troops along here. Where is that sort of? There, there it is here. So we're going to be laying our troops along this way here. So we're going to again have the York and Lancaster Regiment, Lancaster Regiment, in the vanguard of the defence here. Yes, sir. Steady, lad, steady. Anti horse hidden, beautiful. We would have the 75th Sudan Sudanese regiment here. Yes, sir. And again, anti cav. The 77th here. No, actually, what we'll use is we have one of our elite Sudan fella. No, we must be in the other armies. But there's another Sudan fella our, uh, regiment yes, here sir. as well. Hidden, even better. Stretch up before us. Guards! Infantry elite! Yes, sir. Right, we'll put our cavalry here. Yes, sir. Or actually, can we put the cavalry here and hide it? I wonder if it's yes, hidden sir. here. Indeed. Even better. We want to wear them out, we want them to come to us. I'm going to put the 82nd here on the left. It's not hidden, it doesn't matter. Got to face this, whether they're hidden or not. But we're going to be prepared, my friends. Prepared. And again, under the Sudanese 76th, 
now we're going to start introducing some of the 42nd foot, 85th regiment of 42nd foot. Yes, sir. Oh, look at that on that cliff here. Look at that. That is a beautiful sight. Gentlemen, stand ready. Thank you. And I think we'll use a fifth guard on the on the flank here, just to solidify. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Easy there, gentlemen. Yes, Easy. What the basis is going on here. Yes, sir. Looks like the cliff here is going to pose a few problems for us. What we might have to do is. Yes, sir. is do that. They're going to be out there by themselves. Not for very long, though. Following orders. We're at 281st here. To protect this sort yes, of flank here. Again, anti-cav. We've got all the Highlanders. I think we'll stiffen up the middle here. We will be having reserves. Absolutely, we will. Oh, we'll have 40 second foot. This flank here yes, might sir. come in for quite a bit of a quite a bit of a beating here because it's, they do tend to throw yes, their forces at one flank or t'other, and we've got to be prepared for both. Beautiful. Yes, Perfect. We've got a reserve. And this reserve is going to whoa, 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 what the places is going on there. Yes, sir. Sir. What are you gentlemen doing here? Get over there. Right, these are all hidden here, which is good. What have we got in reserve here? Let's just take them off fire. We'll put them on that. We've got the second yes, second regiment of foot, York and Lancaster. Caster, we've got the 42nd foot. Another Royal Highlander, 6th and the 112th regiment, 42nd foot. I think that's all we need, my friends. We're going to come under quite a lot of barrage here, but we've got to be prepared. Let's begin the Battle of Damascus. General Staff reporting. General Staff. Gentlemen, please. Things have a little bit here. <clears throat> Look at that, they've been absolutely butchered. Still hidden. We're waiting for that artillery. That artillery needs to be coming out here as well. Then we're going to have some fun with the artillery. There it is, there. Steady, lads, steady now. Nice and steady, nice and easy. Calm. Move. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Move, gentlemen. Deadly horsemen, if they spot them. Can we drag them into us even quicker here? <sighs> General. Oh, look at that. The Citadel Guard. Let's have a look at these. Oh, look at that. They are magnificent. Wow. But we're waiting, my friends. We're waiting. Just waiting here for that artillery. Where is it? There it is in there. Unguarded. Oh no, it is guarded. I'll be damned. There's the other one there. The nine pound up. Steady, lads, steady. We're going in for a charge. They gotta deploy this this artery, it will stop. When it stops, it shall be ours. Steady lad, steady now. There it is. Oh, it's got itself behind this scimitar guard right. Oh, this flank is gonna come under a heck of a lot of pressure. Move, gentlemen, move. Away right 
fight over here. Battle of Damascus, my friends. Give them a fall. Following orders. To the breach. You wanted it, you got it. Look at that. Already starting to farm. Killers of the Delhi Horseman. Imminent. They've broken. They've had enough. Gone. Heroic victory, my friends, and the fall of Damascus is now out. Damascus is now ours. That garrison was butchered, absolutely butchered. Nothing can victory stop them, my friends. Victory is ours. They've got four men left. We lost forty, mostly to these, and so we lost also some Royal Highlanders here as well. Absolutely fantastic. Get ready Whoa. for battle. Oh, we've won. Wow, how cool is that?
what is that? Well, I wasn't expecting. Whoa! Egypt, a victory here is to stand alongside to be almost a god. December 1804. I was Notre Dame. With pride, I watched Napoleon become the Emperor of France. I found the French crown in the gutter, he said, and I picked it up. Vive l'Empereur! Wow, what are you going to do with Napoleon, my friends? But still, we've won. We've actually won. Wow. Damascus was the Damascus was that was the the capital city of the Ottoman Empire. Well, that was um. Well, that ended sooner than I thought. That was very sudden. Wow. Wow, my friends. Well, we've won. We've won a campaign. And I don't know about you, my friends, but I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. I thought that was absolutely fantastic campaign. Absolutely brilliant. I hope you've enjoyed it, my friends. I really, really do. Um, I'm. I'm I'm sorry for the sudden end. It took me by surprise as much as probably has you taken me by surprise. Wow, um, wow! I we've gone from two settlements, three settlements, three regions, and we've taken everything. We've we now we obviously Damascus was the that's why they probably left a full stack army in Damascus at all times was so that it wouldn't fall straight off the bat. And by damn, they gave us a real hard fight, my friends the Ottomans and their allies, a really, really hard fight. We had some great help from the Bedouins, especially in North or South Sinai, should I say, where they kept rising up from the desert and hitting them there, my friends. We really did look at this. What a fantastic charge that is in defence here by the British. Um, and we really, really did, my friends, have our... F you know, on sometimes I was wondering whether we'd be able to do it just for the sheer amount of times they were throwing at us and also the money situation was always very precarious we weren't always quite having what we you know we would normally get in other campaigns we'd have lots of money coming in after a longer time you were really balancing on the edge sometimes and I know we were bankrupt a few times but I really really enjoy that my friends and I hope you did as well and I think that begs the question what next what shall we do next what is the next campaign I know I've had a, f a quite a number of you actually I've had a quite a few messages where you said will I do a tiller campaign now I was going I am gonna do an Attila campaign. The problem is I've had a few problems in terms of performance with Attila. Um I'm using an AMD card, um which means I don't think the graphics settings and the graphics are sort of really being tuned or fine tuned as they should be for AMDs they have with NVIDIA. So I've had a few problems with that. I think the patch and a few other things I managed to do has sort of settled that down. Attila is definitely an option. I probably would like to do a, a Western Roman Empire or an Eastern Roman Empire for that. And I've also had a lot of suggestions saying Napoleon Total War 3 um, would be definitely as well something to consider because a lot of you have recommended that. Now I, I haven't played that yet, that sort of update, that upgrade to it um, at all. Um, but I would love to do it. If you want to see that or if you want to see another Empire campaign or if you want to see something else along anything my friends um, that in, it's got a Napoleon, to Napoleon Total War is you know or Attila, something that isn't sort of um, Empire, be or can be Empire if you wanted to be, but something that, um, and I can, I'll just uninstall this mod and I will put another mod in there, or if you want me to, you know, play something else, then just let me know, my friends, and I will definitely, definitely do that, but, you know, I hope you've enjoyed it, I know that I have, it has been absolutely fantastic to play this, let me know what you want me to play next, my friends, I will definitely do my best to do that, and, um, Wow, that was just fantastic. I really, really enjoyed that campaign. Never played the Oriental campaign before. Um, might do some Zulu battles in the future. Just some independent Zulu battles. Um, we've done Rourke's Drift and we can do a few others as well. So we'll definitely do that. But until next time, my friends, when I will definitely see what we'll see, what you what you come up with. It's your choice, my friends. You choose and we will do whatever you choose. What I, I will do whatever you choose. Um, and whatever you want to look at, whatever you want to enjoy. Until then, my friends. Bye for now.